Hey guys, Squall here. Just woke up. Just gonna have a quick snack. A quick drink. It is Thursday. Uh, why did I just crouch instead of leaning over? It's Thursday, which means we've got a few bits and pieces to do today. It's rally day on Saturday, of course. Now what we're gonna do today is we're gonna fit those pieces back on the car, the ones that we ordered. We've already fit some of them. We've got a few more to fit. We are then gonna take the... We're going to go fill an order form with the speakers because I forgot to order the speakers really annoyingly to the brand new stereo. So I've got the new stereo, which isn't worth fitting yet because we haven't got the new speakers to go with it. So that's annoying. Um, then what else are we doing? Yes, yeah, so we're going to take the car down and leave it with Flitari, get the gear ratios adjusted, take the American car. I might take it up to the tip and see if we can get some plastic bottles. Let me do the order first. We want one of those. Is there anything else that we need? I don't believe there's anything else in the shop that we actually need. We could order racing tyres at some point, but... And then we can always get on the tarmac a bit quicker, for what it's worth. Uh, let's leave that one there. Okay. Let's open the door a bit. We put the wheel arch things on. We put the spoiler on the back. Now we have two spoilers here for the front. We have this one, uh, which can snap on like that, which I like the I like the lines on that. I like the low profile. I don't like the fact that you can't get any fog lamps for the front. It would be nice if the game allowed us to put fog lamps on the front. It would look so much better. Uh, let's get rid of that and put this one on. Is upside down, maybe. That way. Had it then. I saw the. There it is. Uh, you've got this one, which uh, doesn't have the holes in it, but then doesn't meet the line of this thing. Uh, so it's a little bit more. I don't know. It's tricky, isn't it? It's tricky. I think I prefer that one, even though it has holes in it. We'll put that one there. Well, it looks pretty tidy. If it wasn't for the rust down the bottom, though. It'd look great, wouldn't it? Let's get the toolbox. That was a toolbox. Is it in the car somewhere? The beer. There it is. Let's get the toolbox out. Uh, because we're going to remove the dash. I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, so let's pop that open. I'll show, in fact, I'll show you why. I'll show you why I'm going to remove the dash. Because we've got uh, this thing, which is a rev counter with a limit light on it. Uh, let's just get this thing fitted. It fits here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so when you're in your driving position like this, uh, you can no longer see what speed you're doing very easily. You can kind of make up the needle, but you don't really care. Point is, you've already got a rev counter. You've got one here and one here. Now, I believe there are mods that can let you move these things around, but I've not got any mods running. I'm playing vanilla. Uh, so, if you look, the rev counter on the original one goes up to 6,000, then it goes into the yellow, and then the red line starts at 7K. Now, with this thing, uh, we can set where the red light comes on. So, what I might do is set the red light for about 6.5-ish, which means we're just going into the yellow. We're not going to go into the red. Get to 6.5, that's like a, a gear shift point. So I'll put it on about six and a half, I think. But there's no point having this rev counter here. If you remember, when we first built this car, there's actually a choice between the clock and the rev counter. So why have two rev counters when you can actually know what time of day it is? So I'm going to fit this thing. So for, for that, I need to get the dashboard off, which means I need a 10 mil. And I'm going to pop the glove box open. And there's a nut there. And then there should be one around about here somewhere. There he is. And then that should pop off. 
like that. Let's flip that over. Uh, flip to a 7 mil. And we shall pop this dial off from there. Chuck that in there. Of course it won't break. Put the clock on. Luckily you don't have to worry about the wiring in this game. <laughs> Imagine if you had to worry about the wiring, good grief. And then we want to get our 10 mil back. I uh, want to flip that over. And uh, snap it back into position. Come on car, stop moving around. Physics plus. Oh my god, physics, can you not? Jeez, man. Sometimes the physics can, like, flip the car over. Okay, so we got that in there. We got that in there. Let's close the glove box. Okay, can we close the glove box? There we go. Uh, let's start it up. Let's get the parking brake on. Let's give it a bit of choke. Move that to there. Okay, so let's get it going here, and I'll show you what I mean. <clears throat> All right, so if we rev it up, there's a little dial here. We'll start to dial it back. So I'm spinning the mouse. There you go. So now it comes on at 5K. I'll spin it forward a bit. Now it will come on at 6K. There you go. A little bit more. There you go. Perfect. So when I'm revving along and I hit to 6.5 like that, the light will come on. That's my point to change right there. Now let's leave the engine running here. I want to um, do a little bit of maintenance. Because we've got a rally. Actually, you know what? I was gonna check all the uh gonna check all the liquids and stuff, but I don't think I will. I think I'll leave it uh, for tomorrow, like Friday. We'll check everything when we get it back from Flitari, because there's no point checking it right now, is there? Okay, so we're gonna we've, we can't do much with that spoiler. Uh, we can't do much with that right now. That's got diesel in it. Might as well, since we're gonna go to the shop anyway to post a letter. Might as well fill up the diesel jerry can while we're there. So we'll just empty that into here. That should more or less fill up the tractor. So remember, one of the things we're trying to do is get ourselves twenty grand because I want to get. Actually, I'm saying 20 grand, but I think you get a 50% discount thinking about this. I want to get the metallic paint skin, but I think it doesn't cost 20, it costs 10. So if we win the rally, we get 5k. That's enough. And if we then take the wood as well, and probably sell the kill you, I think we'll have loads of money. We'll probably end up with about 14, 15,000. Okay, that's emptied. So that should keep that thing running for a bit. Pop this in the car. Put it in the boot. That's what the boot's for, after all. Uh, reminds me, actually. Let's put the put that in there. And before I forget, I disconnected the phone. I believe, yes, I did. Put the phone back in. Close that. Close that. Okay, so we're going to go on to Flitari now. And then we're going to empty the stuff into the American car. Then we're going to head up to the shop. Drop the letter off. Let's buckle in. Well, the gear ratio changes we're going to go for should give us more acceleration, uh, but less of a top end speed. Which, for what we're trying to do in a rally, is pretty much what we want. Because it's unlikely we'll actually top out on the speed. Even on that fast bit, you can't really go full gung-ho down there. As I'm driving along here, um, there's a bit of steam coming out the engine. There you see it. Which I think means the engine's overheating. So, although I didn't check the coolant levels, I probably should have done. Because I think the engine radiator coolant level may be low there's something not right 
Uh, so we'll limp, we'll limp home here, but I think what I'll do is when we go to the shop, we'll buy some more coolant because I'll need to I'll need to top it up before I drive this thing back. I think uh, something's definitely not right. It's definitely overheating. Hello. Hey. Whoa, you're drinking and driving, mate. That's not good. You know that. You shouldn't really do that. I just thought I'd say hi. Not spoke to you for so long. Sorry about um, sorry about knocking you in that ditch the other day. Yesterday it was. Hope you don't mind. We'll be going anyway. Well, nice chatting with you. Right, let's get the diesel out of there. Let's get my envelope. Uh, we'll take the beer as well. Actually, I might leave the beer in here, just buy some more from the shop. Why not? Uh, the toolkit, there's no point taking that with us. We might as well leave that in the car. Just make sure that's nice and safe. Okay. I should do it. You can go now, pal. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Let's see what we've got. That car ruins a driveway. That's not what you say to somebody that's about to buy some stuff for you, is it? Right, so 4.286. Uh, this is the default gear ratio. Will you shut up, dude? This is the default gear ratio, 4.286. Uh, we're going to go to a higher ratio. That's going to give us more acceleration. So we're going to go all the way up to 4.6. That'll lower our top end, but improve our acceleration. Uh, for a sweet cost of 675. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that we need doing. We've, we've got all that done. So the paint job, if we want it, uh, we want the custom made, which we're not going to... We're going to go for this one. So that's going to require... Yeah, it's about nine grand to get the uh, custom colour. But we'll have to do that later. We don't have enough money for that. You can take it to Ferndale if you like. Okay. I don't like the Ferndale, but we'll take it anyway. No, and this guy's got no fuel in it. Dude, just go. Right. What? Right, there we go. We'll take that. I hate this thing. I think I'll take the, uh, the tarmac road on the way around. Right, what's he got in it? Uh, less than half a tank of fuel. We're going to have to fill it up, I'm afraid. He never puts fuel in it, and if we get it stuck, we're going to have to recover it ourselves. Is that a dude? Whoa! Crazy. Crazy back wheel spin. Let's go this way then. Normally I leave it in two just to stop it doing that. Because if you put it in drive and put your foot down, the, the wheels just spin up and then you end up like that. Wow, that engine's loud. Hey, there's the bus! Do you know what? I'm going to have some fun with him at some point. I'm going to grab the truck and have fun with that guy. Also, what we need to do is give Mr. Wub Wub a tow. Because he's got a winch point now. Typical American car. It's brilliant in a straight line. <laughs> this is where it belongs. On the highway. Cruise all day, this thing. See, it feels like we're going quicker, but we're only actually doing 70. But I suppose that's miles per hour, isn't it? This is probably American. So that was 70 miles per hour, which means it's more like, like 100, and, 100 and a bit. That's my guess, anyway. So it's deceiving.
This is like pretty much maxed out now. I really hope he allows you to build one of these things at some point. If you notice inside the garage there's a chassis. It'd be great if you could build an American vehicle as well. If he just allowed you to build like a V8 or something. Maybe an auto gearbox as well, that'd be great wouldn't it? Right, we're looking out for a rock. There should be a rock, not that one. It should be one on the right. Can't even hear the radio. There's the rock, there it is. I really don't want to ditch this thing. This is the real danger of this game. The real danger of this game is if you ditch it now, just trying to get recovered is very, very hard. You'll probably die before you get recovered. There we go. Yeah, just look at the fuel. It's already down to a quarter. The efficiency of this engine is non-existent. Mr. Wubwub's back. Should we pick on him even more? Hey, buddy. Hey, I'm standing, sir. Sorry. Go away and go. Let me know. Sorry about that, bro. I, did, I didn't honestly mean to do that. It's a complete accident. But even this car's better than yours. Just saying. Okay. Let's park it. Ah. He's probably going to come around me again now. Whoops, that's the wipers. Park. Uh oh. Where's the wiper switch? You managed to turn. There it is. Why the wiper switch there? Good grief. Right, let's grab our envelope to order the speakers. I'm going to put that in the mailbox. Oh god, he's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. He's actually going to try and kill me. No, he's gone. Okay, I think that got posted. This dude, honestly, he's going to come back for me in a sec. I'm standing here. Can you phone the police? I think that Mr. Wubble wants to kill me. Here he goes. You see, I knew he was going to do that. He did this with my truck. He's getting really aggressive. I so wish I'd have brought that sledgehammer. Dude, just don't eat, just, oh god. No, 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 no. I've got nothing to hit the guy with. I think what he's trying to do, he's trying to burn out around the, around the car park there, and failing miserably. Hey! Sorry, you know you've got a complete psychopath outside. You don't seem to mind though, do you? Anyway, I'll tell you what, give me some coolant, because I think I need it. And we'll take a few fluids as well. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's take an oil. Uh, we'll also take a crate of beer. You get quite bad, it might need to discount the sausage prices. Give us some stuff, dude. Just give me, give me some supplies. Oh, right. He's gone. We're safe. Complete nutter. Let's get the beer. Okay, put that up there. That up there. Definitely doesn't break. This is the more tedious aspect of the game. Having to move things around one by one. Right, that's where the petrol fills up. Whoa. I'm guessing this is going to cost a few quid to fill up. So I've got to fill this up, fill the diesel up, get everything in the back, and then we've got to head back to... We're going to go to the tip 
and see if we can find some plastic things. And I'm going to try, if a sofa's there, I'm going to try and fit it in this car. It should fit. This car's massive, but we'll see. I can still hear Mr. Wub Wub. He sounds like he's driving my direction right now. <laughs> Is that the bus driver? They're all turning up here. If I get killed from Mr. Wub Wub, the bus driver's a witness. I wish I was in the truck right now. Here we go. Oh, God. Yeah, you go, pal. Right. I filled up the diesel. I filled up the fuel. And I can't close the lid. <laughs> because the guy rammed me right into the uh, fuel station bit. Let me pull forward. Or was it because of that, maybe? Why is that not closing? Whoa! <laughs> there we go. That's so weird. Hey! He's not bothered, is he? It's not his bus. So he doesn't care. Can we move him? Hang on, I want to see if I can actually move the guy slightly. Oh, we're moving him. We are actually moving. Oh, no, don't you run away. You scumbag. Come here, I was having fun with you. Don't you drive off of me. I wonder if the MOT test center's been cleaned up. Can we pit the guy? Never tried to pit a bus before. <laughs> Maybe if we can do the front wheel a bit easier. If I could just nudge him into a tree. Come on, get over there. I'm steering hard right and he's not moving at all. There he goes, there he goes, I'm moving him. I'm moving him. God. Get into a tree. Honestly, I cannot push this guy. I'm full lock right here. Look at this. <laughs> Not a chance. Oh man. That's where he killed me. No, I can't do it. I've tried. I really have tried. But I can't do anything with him. Oh god, oh god, he's pitted me! No! No! You absolute scumbag! Oh god. Am I gonna get out of this? I'm in a ditch. <laughs> oh god. He's actually knocked me into like a really big ditch. Maybe I can turn around over here. Yeah, we can probably get out this way. He's knocked my beer out as well. Do you know what? He's going to pay for this. He's actually going to pay for this. I'm going to come back with that truck and I'm going to pit that guy into this ditch. How dare he knock my beer flying. So I'm going to check the contents of the... Uh, it's all good. We're all good. Let's just get out of this crazy situation that we're in now. 
Wow, my thirst bar. Hang on. Can I have a beer? I reckon if we line up like that, we should be able to get out of here. There we go. Hey, whoop, whoop! Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm just getting myself out of a ditch. <laughs> One sec, let me straighten my uh, driving position up. Well, that was fun. Okay, let's head down to the uh, tip now. And see if we can fit a sofa into this thing. I reckon I can catch that guy up. Let's get some American muscle down this highway. I swear that car steered towards me then. Wow, he's gone... He's not exactly going slow, that guy. I'm doing 90. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm going so quick. I'm not, it just feels like I'm in this thing. Hang on, I need to slow down. Oh, the car's wobbling. Slow down, slow down, slow down. This is my turn off. Jeez, this thing becomes really unstable really quickly. Okay, so... That's the start of the dirt track there, and the rally start point is further down. This is the... There's a runway here, and a tip. Now, the runway, you can do a drag race, which we could have a go at. Not that we're going to win anything, because, well, let's face it, we're fully loaded on fuel. And we've got beer and all kinds of things in the back. But we could do it for the lols. See, if we refitted the Satsuma, like the gear ratios for acceleration are done, if we put like slick tyres on it, we could possibly have a go at the drag, the drag uh, quarter mile standing in the Satsuma and see what happened. Okay, this is a tip. Um, oh god, oh god. It's a bit slippy. way we want to go. I don't know why there's a street light here. There's the settee. Yeah, look, there it is. The settee and all the plastic bottles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Turn that off, save fuel. Quite literally in this engine. Wait, what? Oh, that's the radio. I thought that was whoop whoop. Okay, so these things, uh, basically when you sell them to the guy and he, and he drinks them, this is what he does, he puts them in the bin, and anything that you put like down sewers and stuff, ends up back here. So you can basically just collect all these plastic cans, <laughs> which have been sitting here on this lovely hygienic tip. Oh man, that went underneath. And, sell them, and fill them up and sell them back to him. Is a great way of not buying loads more. Recycling for the win, eh? It'd be kind of fun if you actually had to give them a wash first, maybe. Like, if you, if you washed it under the hot shower, it would be fine. And if you didn't, he'd drink it and he'd be like, Ah, ah, this killed you, tastes funny. And then he just pays you like half price on nothing. I think that's what it should do. Now, looking at this settee, it's actually a little bit big. I'm not sure it is going to fit inside. The boot of this car is massive. Look at it. Okay, so we got all those. Um, and funnily enough, this is a save point here. You can actually save the game, like, right here if you want to. This may or may not go well. Okay. Um, 
The beer's falling out. Oh, that works perfectly. <laughs> Let me put this in the boot. Look at this. Let me see if we can get this in the back. Alright, oh, he doesn't want to sit in the back. Oh my god. What about like that? No, it fell out. So the reason I want this is because if we can put it back at the shop or something... I'll probably need to come in the van or the truck or something, because if you can put it at the shop, you then give yourself a place to rest at the shop. Which is pretty handy. Oh god, oh god! Oh my god! Did you see that? Oh my god, my stuff has gone everywhere! It just glitched, massively glitched out and threw my stuff. <laughs> Can they just threw bottles like halfway across the tip? This game, my summer physics. All right, perhaps the sofa is not the best idea. I'll come and get it another day. In a di perhaps when we do the, um, oh, I can't do it if we do the rally. We need to do it in the truck, really, or the, uh, or the van. There's one thing the van is useful for, it's moving that city. Good job that shopping bag didn't explode. Oh my god, I would have cried. Beer as well, look at this. Sound effects here, eh? Let's have a couple of like, bottles of beer to keep us going. Okay. One last beer. Why won't you close? There we go. Alright, nothing significant has been left. Let's go and do the drag thing. I'll show what it's like. Now, there's basically a runway down here. You can find it. There's a guy in a tent, though. With that guy, um, he, can, he shows you the results of your quarter mile. So we'll come back to him in a minute. So we don't want that guy. But this bit here is the runway. So we're going to turn right here. Now, we're going to drive past the quarter mile marker, which is there. So that's the point where we can start braking. And then down here is the start, but the start can be a little bit glitchy sometimes. Like the light changing is really temperamental. I'm also doing this drunk, which is great. Right, so there's a left lane and a right lane. And now, annoyingly, the runway number is written backwards. It says 2-3, but it's written the wrong way. I don't think he knows that. <laughs> it should be written the other way. So what we do is we pull up to here. And... Now we've got to like go up right up to the line so we get both yellow lights on, but like I say, it can glitch out on us. Really temperamental. Let's have a look where we are. There's the first light. Now I need to get the second light without it going red. See? 
See what I mean? It's really annoying. It, it's too sensitive. Because all you can do is like, like, you know, release the brakes slightly until it nudges forward enough. Now that time that was my fault. So you, you gotta go to the line, you get one light, and then, like normally you could release the brake and just roll forward like an inch, but in this, it doesn't want to. It rolls forward like a couple of inches and then it triggers a red light. So what you normally do is floor it down here, past the quarter mile lower, and then it'll reset. See what's down here. Nothing much really. Wait, runway two three? What the heck? He's got runway two three, and then up the top he's got runway three two. How does that work? <laughs> Let's go back down and try one more time. So you know how we fill up with fuel at the shop? Look at the fuel gauge. It's like... This thing just drinks fuel. Yeah, it's still on red light. I think it's just... Uh, I can't work out what resets it. It's just time or something. Oh, I see what he's done. He's just put two, three on both ends. Yeah, look, it's reset now. Let's creep forward and see what we can do. Oh, come on, I thought I had it then. I thought I had it, it went two yellow lights. I held the brake and then it just went all oh, red light. What a scumbag. You know, the light's gone off. We just hold the brakes like that so that it just creeps forward very, very slowly. You serious game? I really wanted to show you this, but it's just been really, really flaky about it. Let's try one more time. See, I've got it held now, but the problem is trying to get the second red light without... Because you can see how much it just wants to shunt forward. Let's go backwards a bit. That must be so close to the line. Anyway, what you'd normally do is then you'd rev up, and then when the green light goes, you just basically floor it like that. I think you can get, like, if you do it in the Satsuma, you can get a, a steam achievement if you do it under 17 seconds, I think it is. Well, I have to do it in the Satsuma because it's too temperamental with that thing. You can't get, like, proper fine grain control. So you do it, and then you come over here. You come over here, and you look at this thing. See, it says red. 
Uh, then you get quarter of a mile, 22 seconds, 27 seconds. I think I've had that on about 20 in this car. That's the fastest I've done. But it doesn't count. I, I think I set out late as well, so there's probably about a second or two there. Um, but that's what you do. You get to a quarter of a mile and it gives you the various stats. But yeah, it's pretty fun. So that's the tip over there. Um, is there anything else around here we've not seen? I think there's like a, a dirt track as well that you can go on. Anyway, I'll uh, get this thing back home now. Oh, hang on. I've just arrived and the phone's ringing. It's probably Fleetari saying you get your car's ready. It nearly always is. Your repair work is ready. I knew it. What time is it? Too late. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Man, yeah, I suppose even if it's closed, you can get your car back, can't you? Can't sleep in the car, though. That's the problem. You'll have to wait till tomorrow. He seems to do same-day service a lot. For some reason, now. He never used to. He's very quick. Leave it here. I'm not putting that on my drive. <laughs> oh, wrong way. Okay. Let's get all the stuff out of the boot. Uh, what the heck have I got? A packet of sausage. Let's eat that. Why have I randomly got sausage in there? Did I just leave that from last time? That's really weird. Let's see. We're going to take a crate of beer out of there. <laughs> Uh, the shopping I need. Uh, the diesel we need to take out of there. Uh, now the cool I'm going to leave, the oil I'm going to leave. Cracky, like a million empty plastic cans. Let's put these over there. Don't know if the kill you's ready or not. I can think I can hear it bubbling still. Put them over there for now. Yeah, I can. I can hear it bubbling. So, it's only what? It's Thursday. I think the kill you takes about four days. Probably about rally day that's going to be ready, I think. The advantage of these things is they're already empty. Don't even need to drink the stuff. So, we're going to use that. Um, go away. We're going to use that. We'll keep that in there for a drink to put in the car. Let's leave this over here. The shopping inside. Well, sewer job. Hey, oh, that's so it's the dark shop. Oh. I love this voice. My dad asked me to call it about the sewage well. It's full. He's drunk. Okay, little kid. I'll come around to your house and empty your sewage. <laughs> as long as you're drunk, dad pays me, that's fine. Okay, let's open this in here. That's got kill you in it. Just drink that. Yeast Festival? What the heck? I just got a Steam achievement for Yeast Festival. Not even sure why. Right, let's open that in there. Oh god, really? We don't really want brake fluid in here. Actually, you know what? The brake fluid... Um. I should probably take with me. Why do I feel remarkably drunk all of a sudden? Um, yeah, the brake fluid, I think, we'll take with us tomorrow. When we go and collect our car. Because we've got coolant and stuff. I want to basically top up all the fluids before I drive the car. I think it's the radiators the problem, but I'm guessing everything else might be a bit low. Wow, I feel really drunk. Have I just drunk the wrong thing? I'm swaying everywhere. Oh, we've still not been to the island yet to get the camera, but that'll have to wait. Because our fatigue bar is really high now. Oh my god. I've had too much beer today. Let me try and... I think any man who's ever been out on a drunk night out has done this at some point. Tried to aim and mostly missed. 
We've all been there. It's when you wake up the next morning, your mum or your partner is screaming at you. Clean it up! <laughs> okay, right. Ten past seven. I'm going to unplug that phone again. Is anyone waking up? Uh, so tomorrow, we're going to get the car back. Um, it's Friday tomorrow. We're going to get the car back. We are going to go and get the parts we ordered. Uh, fit the subwoofer in the back, I think. And then we'll see what else we want to do ahead of Saturday's race. Well, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed that one. Take care. Till the next one.